it's that time of the week again, everyone, where SNK reveals a new character, but this time they showed us the silhouette of who it's going to be, or something like that. Or, yeah, I think it's going to be Robert. I'll put the picture up on screen. If I'm wrong, uh, I guess I'll keep this in still to show how wrong I was, but... I think it's gonna be Robert. As much as that looks like Rio, honestly, there's this part that makes it look like he has a ponytail, and also the fact that Rio doesn't really tend to wear shirts with sleeves. He usually is sleeveless. Five, five, four, three, two, one. All right, it's go time. It's go time. Oh, what? Ya Yashiro? Yeah. What? Fuck everything I just said, it's Yashiro. Ah, we haven't seen him in a long last time. What? Holy shit. That's his last name. Damn, he back. So is Team Orochi back then? Oh my god. He's back. What the fuck? They just dropped him like that? Okay. So, guy from Team Orochi is back. We're glad to see him. Looking good in 3D. Although, his, I don't know how well his hair looks like. Someone, I think, said Yashiro, but holy crap. Honestly, you know, in the older games, he looked a lot bigger. Here, he looks kind of just like a normal dude. I mean, that's fine. Because I think 3D makes scaling, you know, more proper. So does that mean Team Orochi is back? I feel like Chris is going to be very happy about this one. You know, I can't really say anything because I never really played this character even in like 2002 UN. I I never played this character. If there was any from anyone from Team Orochi I played, it was probably Chris. And it was like the like the Orochi version of Chris. And uh, yeah, I have no idea what this character does. Well, I, we're seeing what he does, but like it's cool that he's back. He's got his classic outfit, which is kind of cool. You wouldn't really expect it, them to put him in a new outfit anyway. It's obviously, you know, brightened up a little bit. Uh, 
So he's got obviously his walking in thing. You could see what his uh, belt says. It looks like it says 1997. Uh, jumping around as one does. He's got the two earrings. I mean, he's back. Certainly back. Um, you know, I don't know a whole ton about this character. I'm gonna be straight with you. Like, uh, he's one of the hockey shoe. One of the, the, the someone having to do with Orochi. Uh, he has like a sure you can basically. He grabs you. So I remember at least. He looks good. This guy's like breakdance kick thing. We still have that weird thing that Maximilian referred to as rolling pizza dough. That one stance. Where he just it's just his idle stance. I mean we're not gonna see it obviously. I'm assuming he does. Actually, it doesn't look like it. It just looks like he has a less weird stance, which is fine. I can't tell if his outfit's any different. It looks exactly the same. But it's cool to see them return. I'm surprised they just revealed it this early. I'm noticing all kinds of details I didn't know about him before, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm probably not going to play this character, but hey, there's probably quite a few people who are happy that he's back. It's a pretty cool comp- uh, not comp- that's a pretty cool super, I guess. He punches you a bunch of times. I don't know anything about this character. Or like barely anything, cause like I don't know what the fuck's going on. But yeah, I guess I'll leave it there. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, oh yeah, uh, it's a good time to, to say make sure to check out the Shattering podcast. Me and Chris Lotus do that every uh, every Saturday at 3.30 p.m. PST, 6.30 p.m. EST. So make sure to go check that out. Uh, uh, we talk about KOF stuff over there and other fighting game things. But we mainly talk about the King of Fighters 15 and some other stuff from past King of Fighters games. So yeah, make sure to go check that out. And check out uh, Chris Lotus's channel. Anyways, bye bye <laughs>